back to race control, where it's been deemed that the Volvo Ocean Race teams are now officially halfway around the world. And with less than 2,000 miles to go to Auckland, we're hoping the teams will arrive a week from today. There's 1,000 miles of cloud coverage around the equator in the South Pacific, and as the teams entered the doldrums overnight, the West seemed not the best, with Brunel losing massively to the teams in the East. Dong Fong race team had great speed to take over the lead, so later on we'll live X with Kevin Escoffier, but we'll start our show now on board Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing, where the new guy on board, Alex Higby, who subbed in last minute the morning of race start for Adil, who was sick, is getting emails from Slattery's daughter? How do you feel that your seven-year-old daughter is emailing Alex on the boat? It's pretty weird, isn't it? No, um, Alex actually very kindly gave Molly her first job in the sail loft back in Abu Dhabi, so... Um, I think in Alicante I paid her a euro. <laughs> South Africa was four <laughs> rand, so... Hello boss, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Don't worry, I'll be in New Zealand soon. I will take care of everything at the base. Hope dad's not being bossy. <laughs> mean to you. So make you, being mean to you, making you fix the toilet. P.S. Glad you're not having any bad hair days. <laughs> <laughs> Little did Molly know Alex's hair was about to get a lot worse, as well as Willie and Rafa on board Montfrey, as they all experienced their first equator crossing at sea. Get on deck, Polly Wong! Get on deck! Uh, found one! <laughs> I found a Polly Wong queenie! <laughs> you laughing at King Neptune's queen? No. We brand you Polly Wong. <laughs> brand him! Do you know how to spell it, Pogo? Yeah. <laughs> Green, are you got the punishments? You didn't put yourself on the crew list, did you? Pretended to be Adol Khalid. <laughs> well, you don't fall, King Neptune. I think. Don't waste the hair. Don't waste it. <laughs> Some shoulder hair. That's better. Shoulders, just get them like mine. <laughs> First of all, Good. food on the head. <laughs> then King Neptune, back as Rob Greenhouch, gave us a more serious statement about their battle with Dong Fang race team. The fight with Dong Fang is going badly for us. They have uh, they've come from pretty much directly behind us to uh, in front of the forward of the lured beam now, and sort of today they've just generally been a little bit faster. Um, you know, we've tried everything really, they just seem to be a tiny bit faster all the time, which is a bit of a shame. Recently, I think we've had better breeze, so we've just been holding them again. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's been a struggle. Nearby on the boat of Rob's sister Libby, skipper Sam Davies opened up about how the decision making is different for her on a crude boat than previously. Libby and I take the final decision as to where we're going to go. And, um, and so, you know, if that pays off, that's, that's great. And it's great for everybody and we're all happy. And, and if we make a mistake, uh, it's, it's hard because the whole crew have worked everything they, you know, put in everything they can to make the boat go fast. And then if we make an error, we're letting everyone down. And, and for me, that's, that's really hard to, um, to deal with when you don't quite get it right. And you know that everyone's put so much effort into saving the boat fast. And then you make one mistake here and, uh, and everyone has to deal with it. And that, that's, that's what I don't have when I'm sailing on my own. Is I, it's only me that has to deal with the consequences of getting something wrong. So um, that, I think that that part of it is, is pretty tough. Another team having a tough time earlier this leg was Dong Fang race team. So when they skyrocketed to first place, we called Mr. Fixit, Kevin Escoffier. 36 hours ago, you guys were last, and now you are first in the rankings. How is the mood on board? How's the atmosphere changed? Mm. Uh, I, 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 I won't lie. Uh, the, 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 the mood on board was not very good uh, for, for the last few days. We were not uh, used to be uh, at this kind of, uh, of place, but uh, uh, I think uh, this, uh, this mood was also good to, to, to push us uh, to, be, to, be, to be better to push us to be more focused on performance and uh, it seemed that uh, it was good because we've been uh, we've been quite fast uh, 
the last 48, uh, 48 hours. We were also on the right uh, side of, uh, uh, compared to, to, uh, to other boats uh, more in the, in the west. Uh, but uh, I think uh, we, we've been sailing quite well, much better than uh, in the beginning for sure. Okay, and now that you are in the front, um, it's still a dangerous situation in terms of it's still tricky, you're still in the doldrums. What do you think you guys are doing position-wise to try to keep the lead? Uh, presently, we've got. Uh, I think we've got the new win because we just tack. Uh, we just tack uh, half uh, half an hour ago, so we are now uh, now in starboard. Uh, to to keep the lead, we we try to go out of the doldrums as fast as possible, which means uh, that we have to to go south. So we are only uh, thinking about uh, doing uh, one uh, 180 uh, 180 cog uh, uh, right now. And uh, we try to do our best to be the first boat to get out of the doldrums. Uh. We know Kevin spent two hours at the mast yesterday fixing their mast track, so it's nice that he's been rewarded for his efforts with this positioning. The question is, will the east keep paying, or are the westerlies going to fill in for the guys on Brunel? We only know one thing. We're all waiting for your hashtag healing photos. So tweet them to us at Baba Ocean Race, and I'll see you Monday.